Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is crime fiction, mystery novels, thriller, background studies. What do you mean by crime fiction? So crime fiction is an enthralling genre centered on the exploration of criminal investigations often involving murder. Within this literary domain, detectives, private investigators or even uh, amateur sleuths uh, traverse the intricacies of unraveling mysteries. This genre delves uh, deep into the psychological dimensions of crimes, probing their motives and engaging in the complex process of solving puzzles. So uh, here comes the prehistory of modern crime fiction. So the first text in English that focused on crime and criminals appeared in the 16th century. Writers like John Audley and Thomas Herman uh, collected information about the criminal underworld in England, its structure, professions and language and published this in a form that was between what could be called sociological information and narrative. Audley's fraternity of uh, vagabonds, Herman's a caveat or warning and some others of less importance were later used by Renaissance writers like Thomas Decker and Robert Greene working in the time of Shakespeare. They expanded the narrative elements, creating dialogues between different kinds of professional criminals or uh, narratives about how they actually worked. So from a literary point of view, the finest of these works uh, were two plays by the major Renaissance writer Ben Jonson, the Alchemist and the Bartholomew Fair, uh, Fair uh, in which uh, some of the central characters are professional criminals and the plot revolves around their criminal acts. So what are the major uh, elements of crime fiction? So in the early stages of the narrative, a crime, often murder, takes place uh, setting the stage for the unfolding uh, of mystery. A variety of suspects with diverse motives come into focus. Uh, a central character, whether formally or informally, takes on the role of the detective. This detective systematically gathers evidence related to the crime and its victim. Interacting with suspects and witnesses, the detective uh, conducts uh, interviews to uh, piece together the puzzle. Ultimately, the detective unravels the mystery, revealing the true criminal who is typically apprehended or subjected to appropriate consequences. So given the paramount importance of mystery in these narratives, particularly involving crimes like murder, they are commonly referred to as murder mysteries. Recognizing the essential role of the detective, another frequently used term for this genre is detective fiction. So, the forerunner of crime fiction. So, the precursor to crime fiction can be traced back to Edgar Allan Poe's works, particularly Murders in the Rue Morgue. So, this story is often considered a forerunner of the genre, showcasing elements such as committed crime, detective work and the eventual revelation of the true criminal. While Poe's influence initially resonated more with French writers, it laid the groundwork for the later emergence of crime fiction as a recognized genre, notably with Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes stories from 1887 to 1927. So Sherlock Holmes stories, uh, they form the beginning of detective crime fiction in English. So here, Arthur Conan Doyle, the son of a struggling Scottish architect, uh, pursued a career in medicine but found limited success in the profession. During idle moments, while waiting for patients, he began crafting stories. The initial works featuring Sherlock Holmes were uh, novels, but it was the series of short stories published in the Strand magazine from 1891 that catapulted his detective Sherlock Holmes to fame. These stories were later compiled into collections, turning Holmes no, into not just a renowned detective, but a cult figure. His popularity has endured through reprints and adaptations in cinema and television, remaining strong to the present day. 
So, what do you mean by a mystery novel? So, the mystery genre in fiction unfolds a narrative around a crime, such as a murder or disappearance, from its occurrence to its resolution. It is often referred to as Udonets. Uh, mystery novels engage readers in a detective-like role, prompting them to unravel the who, what, when, and how of the crime at hand. Central to most mysteries is a detective or private investigator, uh, the primary character, tasked with solving the case. They often incorporate a series of uh, twists and turns, red herrings, and unexpected revelations to keep readers guessing until the final reveal. So, uh, here, Agatha Christie is considered to be the queen of mystery. So, uh, she made uh, significant contributions to the genre with her ingenious plots and iconic detectives like Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. Agatha Christie's Miss Marple series exemplifies this subgenre, offering a delightful blend of mystery and charm. Dejil Hammett's The Maltese Falcon is a, a classic example of the hard boiled detective novel. Contemporary mystery novels often explore complex themes beyond the crime itself, delving into social issues, psychological depth, and the intricacies of human relationships. Authors like uh, Gillian Flynn with uh, Gone Girl and Tana French with the Dublin Murder Squad, uh, Squad series have uh, pushed the boundaries of traditional mystery storytelling. So, uh, when it comes to thriller or suspense thrillers, they actually it shares a, a close relationship with crime fiction and some literary experts uh, argue that they constitute a distinct genre with unique characteristics. While crimes do occur in suspense thrillers, the central characters often serve as detectives attempting to unravel these uh, mysteries. However, the primary focus in thrillers is, uh, is on swift action where the main characters uh, frequently face imminent danger. So, uh, when it comes to suspense thriller examples, works, works like Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code or the novels by Jean Leaker and John Grisham in the suspense thriller genre typically feature rapid movements across various cities and countries. The crimes portrayed often involve international criminal organizations such as the mafia, uh, individuals within government agencies or influential figures in a big business. And uh, the protagonists in suspense thrillers are frequently pursued or attacked by these criminals. So, there are four subgenres of uh, mystery and uh, crime fiction. The first one is detective novels. The, these are crime novels that center around a detective investigating a crime or solving a murder case. The second one is quasi mysteries. So, these are detective novels that contain no sex, violence, or profanity. In order to solve a case, the detective in a quasi mystery uh, often uses their intellect as opposed to police procedures. And the third one is police procedural. Uh, these are mystery novels featuring a protagonist who is a member of the police force. Uh, well known police uh, procedural novelists include Ed McBain, P.D. James, and Bartholomew Gill. And the fourth uh, uh, genre, sub genre is uh, caper stories. These are mystery stories told from the point of view of the criminals rather than the detective trying to catch them. So they take readers inside the crimes and haste, giving them full access to their motives, tricks, and swindles. Unlike uh, most mysteries, caper stories often include elements of humor. So well known caper story novelists include W.R. Burnett, John uh, Boland. Peter O'Donnell and uh, Michael Chris uh, Crichton. So with this, this is Wahida signing off. Thank you for uh, your patience.